In this video, we're going to focus on how we can fine tune a bit more our scale. And you can see we have now just the numeric values. I will eventually put in here something with a month it will be coming. And next, what we do focus on is on the tooltip itself. We'll structure it. We'll put in the name and we also put in the task deadline or task date. So you can see here the starting and ending date and eventually we will remove the, the bottom area. So let's start to look at first how to make this part and of course the scale. So as continue on of part five, let's solve the dates here that we have. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to put it in the upper title area. And next I want to solve as well this part here. So I will just simplify by just only putting here the number one all the way to 31. And probably in the future I will do something else for that. But for now that will be more than sufficient. So I'm going to scroll down here and we go into the scale area. Here we are. And then here we're going to put an enter here. And then for the unit, we're going to say your display format. Formats with an S. And then in here, we're going to select the day object. So this unit basically could be removed because we already used the day object here as unit. And then we can put in here the format. In this case, you could do, for example, day, month, year, uh, like that, save, a refresh. As you can see here, we get a lot of items except for the M. I guess the month should be maybe capitalized. There we are. So once it's capitalized, that works. Of course, I don't want all of this. What I just want is very simple. I'll just get the day only for now. And I've been struggling with this one where I want to put like a uh, October or the month at the very top and pushing this down. There is a built in function for that, but just very hard to understand. So I don't have yet the answer on that. So in the near future, probably once I have that, I'll put that in there or else we can make a separate plugin for this. So now we have this, what I want to do more is start to work on the tooltip. And what I will do is because basically this here at the bottom or this line here has no real meaning. I think the upper part, we have the task probably which would have a starting date and ending date would have the most value and since we already have it color coded here this color box has no value as well since everything here the status should be already given so less is more the lesser information we use or less doubling the information the better so what i'm going to do here is in the plugins i'm going to create a new one for the tooltip object and then I'll just create a callback and we call this the callbacks is an S. So it's plural. Make sure you put an S in there and we can start to work on this. So if I save this and refresh, probably, oh, all right, it still works. But if I would say, for example, here, the title and what we could do with the title, we can put in some new information. We're going to say the CTX to make it callback functionality for the title. And if we do a console log, you will see we get all the information that we need. If I save this, refresh. All right, so you can see right now the title at the top, the task, it was a bold, with the font of bold, that was bold. It's not showing anywhere, but if I open up my console log here, you can see here we will get the data and more specifically, we will get the formatted values here. So as you can see, this is being shown here nicely. This data here, the formatted values are the ones we need, or more specifically, if I click on this, I think the par says it as well. Uh, custom start bar start end. Let's see if I have it like that. All right, it doesn't show like this, but if you hover over it, it does show. So that's all fine because basically we need to grab one of these at a time and from there on convert that into a proper date. So let's start to work on that. And I realize now, of course, you don't see it here, and the reason why you don't see it. Here is because the title is not being shown, I think. So probably that's the reason why, or who knows. Anyway, doesn't matter so much. What is important for us is that we are able to read the object here. And more specifically, we have here this object, although I was expecting some of the raw, or the, oh, sorry. This is the one I was expecting. There we are. This is the one I need. We have here all this data prepared for us. We could get this. If we really cannot get this, we could get even the parse data. We can get the time, date and time. But I want to avoid that because it requires additional work. So we can use just this is fine. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to grab this. We make it a basically a date object like the custom here, but I want to avoid these underscore things. 
So we're going to grab one of these, convert it back into a, a, a timestamp. And once we have the timestamp, we can convert it into the format we want to show in here. So let's do that one. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to say here constant, and let's say here the um, date start, or starting date, let's say start date. That will be new date, which is basically the date the object. And then let's go, and how do we get there? We go there from index zero of CTX. So basically index zero here already. And then we go down into the raw and from raw we go to x and then from x we're going to index zero again so we say here dot raw dot uh, x index zero so this is the one i need so i will grab this put it in here so that's a start a starting date or start date and then we also have one for the ending date and the end date same methodology except for index number one so now we have these. What I want to do now is to format this value. So I'm going to say a constant formatted uh, starting date, I guess. We can just put it in like that. And this formatted starting date will have the following. We're going to grab here the start date. And in this start date, we're going to say a dot to local string. And from there on, bracket comma and we put in here basically what we're doing is we create a new object and this object will be specified with anything you want and it's really nice so we can say here for example the year there is a numeric uh, numeric next one is the month and then num month will be short and then we have the day day could be a number as well so it's a numeric value and finally, we could have, let's say, a 12 hour structure, AM, PM, set from true. So once I did this, save that. I can do here now a return value and the return value we could, for example, grab the starting date. Of course, I didn't put in yet the ending date. If I save that, ignore this, refresh, we should see here now 6 October. As you can see here, it's nicely specified. No numbers, but just clear the month specified and things and I guess we don't even have a time here so it it, ex it skips the a am and pm structure although I guess that's not really necessary in our case because it's specified on the date so that's fine all right so now we have this let's remove this excess and do the same one except now I'm going to say here this is not the start date this will be the end date or ending date I just put it like that and this one here start date will be converted into end date and this should be in here so what I will do here back tick back tick I'm going to use a uh, special ES6 concatenation here so dollar sign for this and then the variable and then what you could do here put in another dollar sign for the other variable and put in here the formatted end date if I save this refresh there we are as you can see here now we see the start and ending date and maybe we could say here uh, task uh, deadline or something like that or mm, I guess deadline is fine deadline if we save this refresh there we are so now this looks quite nice but I can imagine maybe so I'll hold on what about if I would want to have the name of the person in there so if we go back here let's go back to the ctx here save refresh all right you go to the ctx here and uh, what i want to do here is for example i want to grab here the person's name we can go here you can see here the raw i have james or maybe here the y for the task to be specified on on there what we could do is here let's say we're going to put a name and i want to make sure that this name uh, will be on top so to do that i'm just going to create an array very simple array between here uh let's see let's make sure that this is all correct and of course i can't do it like that sorry i need to make sure the array will be outside of the backtick backtick this is very important but then i will say here 
let's put a comma here and we have to get the name here so how do we get the name let's say this is james if i save this refresh you can see here james is on the top then we have the task deadline at the bottom so like this we can even structure it so you could even say here starting date ending date and it could be all arrays and it will be structured all from up to down however i want to grab here this uh, soft coded how do we get there well click on this and then we can check here the raw and the raw is raw name all right so we need to grab that so basically what we need here is the raw all we'll do is just put that here dot name no need for backticks here because the backticks would be only applied within the array uh, index value or in that element or index number so if I do this one here, you should see here now we have Luna, we have James, we have David and Lily and every name here. Beautiful. So now we have all extracted the names nicely. So I guess now we're done with this part. What I still wanted to do was to put in here a arrow shape and with here at the bottom as today, as you can see here. So this was still one part that I didn't do yet. I'm going to cover that in the next video.